I don't even have TV anymore, let alone like watch it or anything. But I remember like everything on the news and everything. It's just like fear, 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 you know. And uh, it's it's such bullshit. It's like when you get outside the United States, it's like that doesn't exist. My name is Eric Eaton. Um, the name of the show is uh, The Land of Love and No Fear at the Pure Gold Gallery in the wonderful new European-inspired Piazza Complex. I grew up in real rural Pennsylvania on a farm. My parents had about um, almost 600 acres. So, I, you know, there was a lot of natural outdoor life to my childhood. I've been caught up in the tattoo world for so long that after 11 years of tattooing, I started remembering that like, I was an artist before I started tattooing and before I started doing like tattoo, like generated, that, that whole tattoo style of artwork, you know? Um, so I started getting back more into like sculpture, which I really, really, like that's my, you know, my, my sculpture teacher when I was in college was the one who kind of lit a fire under my ass to like quit school. He's like, you don't need to be here. So I was like, all right, cool. So I left through tattooing. Like I've traveled a lot. Like I've traveled like all over, mostly Europe, but I've traveled like all over the world. And like, it's funny traveling other places. When you go to other places, you really realize kind of how backwards the United States is in a lot of ways, you know? Um, and how we're so afraid of everything. I think the idea for the show, you know, it ties in a lot having to do with a lot of personal stuff, like personal things that happened, that have happened to me over the last few years. There was like a huge like resurgence of uh, death that occurred in my life over the last few years. Um, so that had like a really, really huge impact on me. You know, like the idea of like everything being about love and like not buying into the fear is kind of like, I see it as like, you know, I obviously see it as like a social statement, but I see it as like my own belief too. So I tried to like, with the use of like black, just like flat black, you know, I think like black always has that connotation, like it's something evil or dark or spooky or something. You know, I wanted to present things like in that manner, like, you know, um, that it has like this kind of foreboding feel to it. But then I wanted to offer something at the same time that offers like, that gives like a, a glimpse of something hopeful, you know? Like there's always, there's always some, there's always light in darkness, you know? Even if it's like one candle inside darkened room it's like it's still like some sort of illumination you know plus I mean I, I had like I had a lot of visions too of like, like this piece that piece um, the bed piece like those were literally like I literally had like visions of them and I just needed to like do it you know doggy